Hey there, I am Chris Palmer with chrispalmermarketing.com and in today's video, I'd love to share with you a great resource that will not only give you the hierarchy of schema, but it will also share with you examples, copy and paste examples of exactly what to put. All you'll have to change is URLs and image URL addresses. It's absolutely so easy. So with that being said, I want to share chrispalmermarketing.com for all of your SEO needs, whether you want to learn, whether you need service, whether you need consulting, it's all right here. Enough about me. Let me share with you this resource schema.org. Now I know that this site is daunting, but what makes it great is that it breaks down niche and category specific schema. So you know what to add to your homepage or to internal pages. Let me share with you exactly what I mean, because if we come up here to the right hand corner, there's a search functionality. Utilizing this search functionality, you can type in your specific niche. For instance, attorney, right? It gives you this option up here at the top. Let's say plumber, right? It gives you this option up at the top. Real estate agent, real estate agent, right? You get the point, right? Real estate agent, whatever you type in, it's going to give you a specific, not only hierarchy, but there's also examples. And I'll share with you exactly how to get those and how to deploy those. So let's go back to attorney, all right, because that's near and dear to my heart. We'll click on it after doing a search. And what it's going to do is it's going to break down exactly what is needed, right? So, and this is the hierarchy. So if we want to, we can go to organization, scroll on down, click on JSON LD, and it's going to give us examples of how we can write out our schema, right? It, in fact, it actually writes it out for us. So what we could do is we could take this script right here. This is our organization. We'll bring out a text document and we would have to fill in the information that's relevant and pertinent to us. However, it's a copy and paste format. So let's say that we want to add our attorney schema now. So now we've got our organization. All right, let's go, let's head on back. We'll type in attorney. All right, we'll click on this. We'll click on local business. And I wanna point out anything that says text means that you can add it to the actual schema. So we went to local business, we'll scroll on down. We'll grab JSON LD because that's what's recommended. And then there's multiple examples, all right? Now I'm not saying that you need every single one, but you wanna get what is going to be specific to your category or niche, right? So let's just say we're gonna utilize this right here. You can stack the schema inside of a text document, just like so, all right? So as long as the scripts are separate. And yes, if you wanna utilize RDF formats, let's say that on top of this, let's say that we wanna name an image now. So let's do image. All right, so now we have image, image object. So let's just do image. So but say we wanted to do RDFA, right? So this is a separate type that you could include into your pages. Maybe you want to use microdata. Again, you can add this and JSON LD, but JSON LD is what's recommended by Google, right? You could copy this, change out the information, the URLs and data that's pertinent to your business, and then add it to the body or the head on your website. All right. Very, very easy. Now, if you're unsure about adding it to the head, WordPress add to header plugin. There's a plugin for headers and footers. You can literally add scripts to the header or footer. And in most themes now, it's easy to add. If you have a static website, then you already know that you can add whatever you want into the head. But let's get back in here to the schema types because I want to share with you, again, you have plumber, you have real estate agent. How about a restaurant? Probably spelled that wrong, but that's okay. Restaurant, right? You can have your local business, food establishment, restaurant. We need some examples. Scroll down to the bottom, grab your example, all right? And then as far as changing out information, let's just say that we're a restaurant. We'll open this up, put this inside of here. So context is always schema. The type is restaurant. The name, add your name between lines, all right? So this is how you can find every single item on your page, know exactly what you need to add with examples. Say you want to do a video. So you could type in video. Because again, homepage, you want to have your local business, your attorney, the, the specific types, the organization, right? But maybe on an internal page, you want a video object. 
Well, here's how you do it. You go to, you type in video in the search bar, you scroll down and you grab yourself a JSON LD example, make it pertinent to you, make it exactly what you need, add your URLs, add what's most informative for you, and then add it to the header, footer, or body on your website. Now, uh, I'll give you one more small example. Let's say a uh, main entity. All right, so main entity of page. Naming this stuff out is going to be very, 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 very important for you. On top of that, a lot of people like to do articles, right? So there's multiple types of articles. So there's article, news article, right? There's blog post, there's different types. And then on top of that, say we're inside of article, there's other little small pieces that we can add. The article body, the article section, anywhere it says text, down below it'll give you an example, right? So if you scroll down, say we want to add article and we want a big example, let's go to example number three, look at all this. So here we have context graph. If we add all these together, we'll have a really nice schema for an article, a blog post, whatever you need. So schema.org is the resource regardless of your niche or regardless of what type of markup you want to add to your page you literally go to schema.org you type it in whatever's on your page images videos content articles anything links anything go to schema.org look it up it'll give you examples it'll tell you the hierarchy it'll tell you how to lay it out my name is chris palmer if you have any other questions related to schema markup json ld pretty much anything seo on page seo local seo anything never hesitate ask in the section below and i always look forward to seeing you in the next what schema markup do i use video i'll see you in the next one Bye bye